I was in my 1982 Honda Accord and the passenger speaker was blown out and the driver speaker was also blown out but still semi-functional and my radio, my cassette player was break, broken so we could only listen to the radio and there was a toothpick shoved into the little depressor that made it stay on FM which would pop out and then all of a sudden it would be talk radio and I'd push it back in. And it was with my friend Lily who wrote a zine called My Letter, Letter to the World in Berkeley and um, we were listening to Live 105 which was a San Francisco modern rock radio and we were constantly complaining about what was on. Um, you know, it was 1995 and so I mean I think we were really getting close to rap metal at that point if it hadn't already started and um, you know we were lucky if we heard some Nine Inch Nails or Smashing Pumpkins or you know Paul Barron would play Pulp and Suede on his shows but not a lot of great was happening and you know in, in the mainstream and uh, all of a sudden this song came on and as I said my speakers were blown out so it was much of what we heard was like indistinguishable unless we were familiar with it already and it came on I'm like what is this 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 doesn't sound like it sucks and I turned it up and I got super embarrassed and shocked and I said Lily this oh my and she said oh my god because it was unheard of it was on our first record and Aaron the music director uh, just loved us and he played our song just once or twice during the day he went rogue and, and just played played I mean at the time we were a punk band and he played a punk song um, on the radio. It was thrilling.